All right, so where were you 10 years ago? Hi, this is Eric Hagen with the Plotter Podcast. I'm here in central Ontario. Just got done doing some fishing with some guys. We're uh, packing up and getting ready to go here. Last night around the campfire, we were reminiscing about some things, and it made me think about the last 10 years in the stock market. So I thought I'd hop on here with you and uh, have a chat. Hi, this is Eric Hagen. Would you like to know the secret to prosperity? Well, the good news is I have the answer. The bad news is it's not any one thing. The secret to prosperity is in every decision you make. The Bible calls it steady plotting. I call it common sense. Join me on this podcast as I try to inspire you to make your next financial decision and the one after that a good one. So where were you on March 9th, 2009? Do you remember the headwinds hitting Wall Street then? When the, the, when the closing bell rang at the New York Stock Exchange that Monday afternoon, it marked the end of another down day for equities. Just hours earlier, the Wall Street Journal had asked, how low can stocks go? The Standard & Poor's 500 stock index answered that question by sinking to 676, even with mergers and acquisitions making headlines. The index was under 700 for the first time since 1996. The Dow Jones Industrials average tumbled to a closing low, of 65.47. To quote Dickens, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the bottom of the bear market, and it was also the best time in a generation to buy stocks. The next day, the rally began, buoyed by news of one major bank announcing a return to profitability and another stating it would refrain from further government bailouts. The Dow rose 597 points for the week ending March 16th, 2009. On March 26th, the Dow settled at 79.24, more than 20% above its March 9th settlement. The bull market was back. This bull market would make all kinds of history. In fact, it would become the longest bull market in history, at least by one measure. While the last 10 plus years have seen some big ups and downs for the benchmark S&P 500, the index has never closed more than 20% below a recent peak in that span, meaning the current bull market is more than 10 years old. 10 years later, at the close on Friday, March 8th, 2019, the S&P 500 had risen 305.5% from that low. The Dow had gained 288%. How about the NASDAQ composite? The NASDAQ was up 483%. Of course, as you look at these impressive numbers, remember that past performance may not be indicative of future results. Those gains did not come without turbulence, and stocks in no way turned into a sure thing. The risk inherent in the market is still substantial along with the potential for loss. The lesson this long bull market has taught is simply that the bad times in the stock market are worth enduring. Good times may replace those bad times more swiftly than anyone can anticipate. That's it for today. I'll look for you next time. Hey, this is Eric again. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes with me here today. Did you find value in today's message? If so, please help me help others and share it. Want more ideas for making the most of your financial future? There are a lot of ways and I'd love to help. Be sure to subscribe here and then go visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. I hope to see you around.